Oh my god. That just gave me goosebumps. Welcome everybody, I'm IGP, and today we are taking a look at Abzu. I'm assuming that's how you say that based on the circumflex above the U, which roughly translates to the Ocean of Wisdom. Interestingly enough, this is an underwater exploration game developed by Giant Squid and published by 505 Games. Now this is the first game that Giant Squid has developed. They're a very small team, but they are led by Matt Nava, who, if you don't know, was the art director for Journey. So obviously this game is going to be beautiful aesthetically, and it's going to hold a much deeper meaning than what you can scratch at the surface. So 505 Games, the publisher, and I are working collaboratively to help promote Abzu and Giant Squid. That does mean that this video is sponsored. I wanted to be transparent with you guys and let you know. But it's sponsored more so for the purposes of promotion. And being the indie game promoter is what IGP stands for, for all of you who are curious. That's exactly what I do anyway. I would not be promoting a game that I have not been excited about myself or that I do not truly believe in at all. I am not going to be forced to say anything good or forbidden to say anything negative. Again, this is strict for promotional purposes. So on that note, guys, the game actually comes out today, August the 2nd. It came out on Steam and PS4, so check out the links in the description box to get 20% off of Abzu. Just be sure to grab it quick because the offer expires in a week. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed the game. Also, let me know by leaving a like if you would like to see this continue as a series on the channel. Let's go ahead and get started. So this is the character that we're going to be. We're going to be the diver. And I think she's about to wake up. Yeah. So this kind of reminds me of a scene in Final Fantasy X where Titus um, wakes up uh, in Besaid. Bes I can't remember the name of the place. Be shame on me. Oh, wow. Here we go. Okay, so I do kind of understand the controls. Don't mind me. You can actually play this with a controller if you have Steam. Um, but if you don't, it's kind of hard to, to maneuver properly with a keyboard and mouse. So once you get the hang of it, you know, it'll be fine. But at first, it's going to seem a little bit overwhelming. Anyway, so here we go. This is it. It looks beautiful. It sounds beautiful. The game is going to be a narrative, obviously. It's an adventure game and an exploration game. But we're not going to be given any dialogue. Instead, we're going to find out a little bit about the diver more and more as we explore. This game promotes exploration rather than just sticking to the path, which is something I tend to do on a regular basis anyway. I love exploring, I love uh, finding secrets, which are going to be scattered all around this world. Now, the developer said that the first time you play through, you may not find a lot of stuff, but once you start getting in the habit of going off the path and taking a look elsewhere, you'll find more and more secrets about the diver and who she is, as well as the entire world that you're exploring. So with that being said, the game does allow for an interpretive understanding or meaning which is something I also love about games when they do that because that creates discussion it creates talk it creates ideas and it creates a long-lasting impression on people when they're able to come up with their own ideas of what's going on you're obviously going to be given information but as far as symbolism and the overall meaning of what everything is in the game is what makes it really fun to actually talk about the ambiguity is always something you should have in a game like this especially in exploration games because you want to find the meaning in things but you don't want to be given the answers directly. It loses all meaning at that point. Anyway, so back to gameplay, which you guys are probably more interested in anyway. Um, the movement, if you're using keyboard and mouse, which probably nobody is going to do but me. I'm the only idiot that would do that. That looks like a grouper. Is that a grouper? How do I, how do I hold the ride? I'm pressing space. Okay, space does something. <laughs> I honestly have no idea. Okay, so shift is to hold on to a fish. Very good. 
Very good. Okay, a Goliath grouper. It is a grouper. Yeah, you can always tell by the little frown on their face. I was just at an aquarium. And that's how, uh, you know, that's how you learn, man. You gotta go explore around. Even in the real world. Holy shit. <laughs> Sorry for the colorful language, but holy shit. This is gorgeous. The music sets the mood so well. Oh, oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, wow. What was that? So I also have a feeling that I'm going to get scared in this game, which is, is hilarious to think about because it's so beautiful and colorful and you wouldn't imagine there to be any threats. Oh god. Now they said the world is populated by tens of thousands of dynamic fish. So what dynamic means is that there's an actual ecosystem built into the game where bigger fish feed on smaller fish, smaller fish feed on coral and algae, and it works as it would in the real world. And there are real fish in here. Obviously, the grouper is a real fish. There's a great white shark. There's a dolphin, starfish. You got everything you can name in this world. Now, as far as the gameplay goes, the movement is actually pretty fluid. Uh, you, you wouldn't think so. With keyboard and mouse, it's pretty hard. But you can actually pivot and pitch and do all this crazy stuff freely. It's almost like you're Mew, and you're just like swimming in your little bubble under the ocean. In fact, that tune I just heard while I was saying that reminded me of Pokemon the first movie, which I won't talk about, that's completely different. But yeah, so it's really fluid, and uh, you can pretty much move, turn on a dime, and move in any direction. It's, it's very nice. Once you get the hang of it with keyboard and mouse, though, it's super simple. I'm assuming this is way easier on controller. But uh, I refuse. I refuse. Man, this is beautiful. So everything is collidable, too. Everything has its own mesh and interacts with the diver. It's running incredibly smooth on the highest settings. Which is amazing to think, too. You have all these fish and all these entities within this scene. But apparently Giant Squid has developed a very unique way of animating and rendering that's saving all kinds of space and allowing this all to be possible. Oh, uh, hello. Okay, so I can interact with something. Can I scan you? There we go. Okay. Whoa! Did I just spawn all those guys? What? Okay, that's that's a bit of a mystery. How does that even work? How how? How do you work? Maybe if I climb in you. Maybe if I climb nope, not gonna work. Oh man, it's so fluid. Okay, so I'm gonna go up here to this giant hole. Oh wait, there's another one of those. I wanna spawn, I wanna spawn more creatures. Scan away. So what do we got this time? Oh wait, no. What is this? Oh, do I get like a sea glide thing? Or no, it's never, never mind. It's a light. Or a drone. It's a drone! I know what it is. <laughs> it's a drone. Is that a, is that a freaking shark? Please don't be. Okay. Don't scare me here. That's the giant grouper. Okay, so what does this do? What do you do, buddy? What, what do you do? Do you do something for me? If I scan... Oh, okay. Whoa! Whoa, where's he going? Oh, okay. I'm holding shift and I can, uh... Continue to ride the Goliath grouper. I wonder if I can grab onto anything else. Oh, wow. So he's over here eating his food. Okay, so I guess these guys are going to be randomly moving based on, you know, their AI. I don't know if they're actually following a path. That's not going to help me explore, I guess. Again, this game is strictly for exploration. There is no immediate objective but just to explore. And that's what we're going to do. Ooh, what is this? Hello there. I kind of like you. Let me scan you real quick. By pressing space. Are we going to open something up? I don't know what that did. Oh, there's- look, look, look! There's little- there's little f uh, urchin and a, and a starfish. They're actually moving. This is beautiful. Okay. Let me go to the surface here. I wanted to go up to this hole real quick. I, I got sidetracked by all the, uh, the amazing portals that allow other- other sea creatures to just spawn out of. That's an ama- that's an amazing natural entity. Hello. Oh, can we go over to an island? Or is that just a rock? That's just a rock. Oh, god, it's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, see if we can't go deeper. There's probably a deeper area. And I do like how I can uh, do like a kind of a combo boost, if you will. So if I hit it once, she does one mild swing of uh, swimming. And then if I do two, she does it a little bit harder. And then the third one is kind of like this crazy boost. Yeah, it's literally perfect. It's literally just so fluid. I, I love the movement. The movement is great. So don't fear if you're on keyboard and mouse, it's not impossible. Oh, hey, here's another drone, it looks like. Yay, I get two drones. What do you do? I don't know the purpose of them yet, but they seem pretty cool. They're going to follow me around and do all kinds of fun stuff. They look like me, so it's something that's telling you something, right? Why am I here? Who am I? Why am I in this lush ocean world? And how come I can breathe infinity? Oh, there we go. Okay, whoa! Oh, okay, so they each have their own purpose? 
Are you gonna go back or are you gonna stay with me? Maybe those are upgrades. Like, maybe this one will stay with me and cut open those things from here on out. As long as I have it with me. Okay! Nope, 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 nope. Ah, oh, it was a cinematic. I knew it! I knew you weren't gonna chuck a damn shark at me right away. That'd be cruel and unusual. Okay, so let's try to be careful with swimming around here. There's clearly danger. Okay, the music seemed to have stopped. That sound- that's not a good sign. And I'm gonna swim to the surface because I feel much safer at the surface. Ah. Uh, so it is kind of nice. You can move the camera around freely too. So it allows for good, uh, viewing of pretty much everything. Okay. What are these things? Oh, are these, uh, eels? Are you eels? I think they're eels. Yeah, they're definitely eels. I cannot hit your ride. Maybe I can? Nope. Cannot hit your ride on the eels. This is actually a really quick change of habitat. <laughs> we went from like this lush green like kelp area to now this dark abysmal place. I thought that was a, an upgrade or something. Where there's like great white sharks floating around. I, don't even, I really don't even know if that was a great white shark. I'm assuming so. It's actually funny it's called a great white shark when most of it's gray, but what do I know? I'm trying to explore all I can. I'm very eager to keep moving forward though, and I think that's- that's- everyone's first playthrough of this game is probably gonna be, uh, like that. In the sense that you want to explore, but you're gonna miss so much anyway because you're so eager to venture on to the next area to see what it has in store for you. Therefore, missing over a few points of, uh, exploration. Ah, <sighs> man, I wish I was this diver. Can you imagine having the ability of infinite breathing and being able to explore and the water being so damn clear like that's unheard of as well I mean I guess depending on where you are in the world who knows where the world of Abzu is please also tell me if I'm pronouncing that wrong I don't, I don't want I don't want to pronounce that entirely too wrong oh hello what uh what what are you what is this place for real what has happened this progressed too quickly this progressed way too quickly. Where's the shark? I saw him. Is he in here? Did he make this? Jesus Christ, this looks like the freaking the temple of the sages. Oh god, I don't even want to go down here. Is this not fr is this frightening to anybody else but me? Seriously, is this frightening to anybody else? Cuz this this is uh this a it's a fucking bridge. What the <laughs> What is that? It is a bridge. Going where? What? Okay, so we might have found the lost city of Atlantis or something. Are the are you can you open this? I know you opened the other door. Can you do that? Okay, this is definitely somewhere I want to go. How do I activate you? How do I open this up? My goodness. The sounds. It is terrifying. I want to go to the bottom. I want to go to the bottom. Okay, oh, we have wrecks down here. What of though? These are metal. Are these metal or stone? It looks metal. Looks some of them looks like piping and okay. So we have a lot of wreckage down here. From what though? I thought that I was going to explore, you know, an ocean and find myself. It's kind of like you know going to the you know going to a beach, sitting on the sand, drinking a margarita, and being like, ah, my life. Let me figure this out real quick. But no. Now we're gonna have to uncover secrets and be sidetracked from discovering ourselves and instead, uh, you know, discovering alien, alien, uh, civilization that went to waste. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm so mesmerized. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna have to stick our cute little faces in this pool of brine or something. It's a whirlpool. Fantastic. I should go down there. <laughs> Let's go! Let's see what it- oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Whoa. Okay, so we are in the Temple of the Sages. What? I, I called it! Temple of the Sages, where are you guys at? Come on, man, we need to beat Ganon. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm flying at this point. Hell no, that looks bad. That looks terrifying. No, 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 I want to go to the heavenly looking place. That's probably going to treat me with like grapes and giant leaves and, and the cool air blowing on my face. That is disturbingly terrifying. I can't do it. Sorry guys, I know you want me to explore everything, but that's too much. I'm just gonna go straight to the light. So we are gonna have fun dissecting this game, I'll tell you that much. Holy crap. Ah, oh, you know what? It's- it seems like it's gonna be the next area. I wanna- I wanna see what's down here. Okay, I can't turn the camera. 
Oh, don't lock my camera in. There we go. Okay, you guys ready? Oh, uh, I am so not ready. Oh, God. Oh. Wow. Wow, game, thanks. <laughs> I can't go down there. That's fun. All right. Whoop. That was cool. I pressed E and she did a little tuck and roll. What did that just do? What would you like me? Oh, okay. I have to be facing it. Very nice. Um, I just gave it my soul. And now I'm gonna be shot up. Whoa. Okay, we got rays. Uh... What is happening? Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, it made sense. It was empty before. And now there's actually water in it. Oh, hello. Oh my god. Seriously. <laughs> Man. That just gave me goosebumps. Holy crap. Holy crap, yeah, that, 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 that was, uh, beautiful. Well done, guys. How am I still running at 60 frames? Seriously, seriously, look at this. This should be, this should be ridiculous. I want to ride one. I want to ride one. Come here. Come here. Come on. I'm going to ride you. Yeah! Woo! A manta ray, hell yeah! Oh my god, this is awesome. So do I have a journal or something that notes down what creatures I've discovered so far? Oh my goodness. This is just magnificent. Seriously. Oh my god. Uh oh, music just turned sour. I don't like that. Where's the shark? I know what you're doing here. Wow. Well designed creatures too, I do like- The art style fits so well for this. It just works. <laughs> this is- literally you can just sit back and relax and enjoy this. Just the- the beautiful calming music. Just gliding with the manta ray. In his natural, natural habitat. That's enough of that. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Seriously, well done on the compositions. That music is absolutely gorgeous. And it looks like the door is now open for us to go explore the temples. Of, uh, Atlantis, possibly, or some other- <laughs> some other sunken city. Ancient civilization. The Sumerians, possibly. Those are jellyfish. I can't wait to go in here, but I'm all out of time. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it here. If you guys want to see more, let me know by hitting that like button and saying so in the comment section below. And again, guys, I just want to clarify and be transparent. Everything I was saying in this video is not paid for, okay? My opinion is not what they were looking for in particular, it was more so just to help with promotion. So again, this video was sponsored by 505 Games, thank you for the opportunity. Guys, links in the description below. 20% off Abzu if you guys want to play it for yourself, it comes out today on PS4 and Steam. Check out the description. So thanks again for watching guys, I love you all, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!